Wow, it's like the Justice League of America in here. Good, good, good. Well, SVU from every borough, plus troopers and detectives from Missouri to Jersey and most states in between. And we're in it until we figure out who this guy is. No leaves, no weekends. One PP has signed off on all the overtime you need. Aha. Uh -huh. So the next time I want their attention, all I need to tell them is that we're looking for a nationwide serial artist. And the perp we had arrested just got released. What was his name again? Dustin Tinsley. Uh, the charges were dropped, but he's out. He's been ROR'd. Oh, well, let's keep that out of the press. Yeah. And you're right. The next headline we want to see is NYPD arrests predatory or serial rapist. <sighs> 20 women. Yeah. How on earth has he been getting away with this for so long? He hits these small towns, then he moves from state to state with these irregular gaps between assaults, and he doesn't leave DNA at every scene. Not everything lands in the national database. Not everyone enters the MO into bycast. So his mistake was striking here. And calling us to brag about the rape. In our Kentucky Vic, Shay Landry, she described the same M.O. as we've heard from other women that we've spoken to. They went out drinking, they were struck from behind, their clothes were folded neatly at the scene. And as you can see, he follows the interstates. So we are looking for a mobile offender, a trucker, a traveling salesman. Did any of these women get a look at the guy? None that we've spoken to so far. But from the DNA profile, our suspect's Caucasian, Northern European. And we have his voice from the phone call. It's a flat Midland accent. We should play it for Kayla. Yeah. 